Hello guys, and welcome to another spectacular Q&A time video. We're going to be doing something a little bit different with these videos. It has come to my attention that my Q&As are way too long for people to sift through, especially when I talk about one question for five minutes. I do try to give people my authentic responses to the questions without having to read off a script because I am that bad at improv. But I do see that making my Q&A videos over 30 minutes long with an otherwise minimal amount of questions to answer throughout the entire video clearly says that I need to step down just a little bit and not turn these things into feature films when it doesn't need to be. That and it takes up a lot of space on my PC, so I'll try to keep these videos as short as possible so that your entertainment won't dry up in the 30 second mark. So, let's get to the questions, starting with... Matthew Powell, Pixelay of Fights, ask, Do you have a least favorite 2018 battle? Well, if we're talking about, like, ones I didn't review, not really. I haven't really seen a whole lot of, like, you know, a whole lot of battles from 2018. But if we're talking about battles I have reviewed, I don't know. I, I actually can't, like, remember what I reviewed the past year. I'm pretty sure it's an infinite source battle. Yeah, it probably is. Do you have a least favorite Death Note episode? Ugh, okay, go easy on me if I don't remember some of the episodes, because I only seen it once and it was like way back in 2015. Yeah, I have no idea. Usually the worst episodes for me in pretty much any episode, really, is like the ones that just have nothing happening. Sometimes I could get boring, but then there come some episodes where things happen, but if it absolutely irritates me. It's like it's kind of like saying that like, you know, I prefer I prefer like boring episodes rather than frustrating ones because when you when you're bored of an episode, it's just okay, yeah, that was like really nothing. But when an episode frustrates you, it's you're like, Jesus goddamn Christ, like what were what were they doing? Yeah, I I have to say like whatever Death Note had had some of those like episodes I thought were they were like the worst, but other than that, I can't think of one that I really did not like. What is your least favorite anime? You know, I don't really watch a whole lot of anime, so I can't really tell you which one I watched and really didn't like. But if I do, I'll, I'll keep you updated. What do you think is the most anticlimactic ERB finale? Artists vs. Turtles. I really have no idea what happened there, but... That did not feel like a season finale to me. It's just... It, it's it's just that it started so good and then it just stopped right away. I was like, what the fuck just happened? Yeah, I, I don't know how that can be considered a season finale, but however it was, it was just... Oh, that was such a letdown. Firefo to Duffel. Next time for Q&A, what is you to... Uh... Uh... What is your favorite superhero, and do you like comics? Oh, gee, um, I don't know. What, what is my favorite superhero? I mean, I could, I, I, I could just... It's on the tip of my tongue, but I, I just can't really figure it out. I just... Uh, yeah, I, I don't know. I mean, there's, there's, there's Batman, there's, uh... There, there, there's, uh... I don't know, there's a uh, Black Widow, uh, I t there's, I don't know, I don't know if you could count Venom, but, yeah, I just really don't know what, I don't know what superhero I like the most, I just, I don't know, can't really think about it, uh, I don't know, it, it's, it, it starts with, sp his, he ha it's man, and he, he's, he's got, he's infected by a spider bite, and, uh, but, uh, what, what was his name? I just don't know. Oh, I know! Arm fall off, boy! <laughs> ah, but... Real talk, ow! Oh, god, that took... That took a lot of my hair off. Uh... <laughs> and do I like comics? Uh, yeah, uh, back then, I have read some comics back then, but, uh... 
a lot of them that I owned are have been, uh, they've been pretty fucked up. I mean, like, a lot of the pages were missing, they were, like, scratches, some of them were ripped up, and now they're kind of lost forever. And I will tell you that one of them was, like, based on the Ultimate Spider-Man game. But other than that, th those were pretty much all the comics I read, and I haven't really read any recent ones since. So, this, uh, this fane is choking me, by the way. I... Uh, I might need an ambulance. GamerBro27 Fuck the what? It's for the win, lol. But thanks for reading my comment. Oh, sorry, I didn't know that was supposed to be for the win. I... I mean, it's not like I was trying to make a joke out of that phrase because I already know what it means. <laughs> but okay. Peas, what is your favorite horror movie? I'm not really a horror movie fan. Uh, unless you want to count, I don't know, Zombie Land as my favorite. But yeah, I'm really not a horror movie person. The Mana Machine. If you could live in any fictional world of your choice, which would you pick and why? I would go to Narnia, so I could be the Lion and the Witch in the Autism. Tom Savage, yay I am featured in another video again, I'm on a roll! No you're not. You're not on a roll. I'm on a roll! Ugh. See? I'm on a roll! Ugh. Do you go to school, and if so, what grade are you in? And is school hard for you? Okay, this is gonna get a little bit personal, alright. Uh, I have not went to school since 6th grade. I I was only there from August to January, and then after that I, I, I got homeschooled because... I... Let's just say it was a fucking nightmare, alright? I just could I just couldn't, like... It was just, like, constant pressure. And a lot of the teachers, like, weren't able to, like... I had a teacher somewhere in, like, the 4th to 5th grade that, like, understands that... That understanding my Asperger's, because I do have, like, Asperger's, and... She was, like, the only teacher that, like, knew me very well and knew what to do. You know, my, my mom and dad like to say that, like, fifth grade was, like, my best year. But the reason why fifth grade was, like, the best year was because I'd been into that, like, same school for three years. Since, you know, since third, since third grade, I'd been there for three years. So I kind of, like, got used to everything. Yeah, I had some, like, hiccups here and there, but... Ew, I was just like used to what happened, but when I transitioned to middle school, it just it's just like everything fell apart again and I was not I wasn't even doing my homework. Like that's how bad it was. I did not do any of my homework those past like months. I I was actually kind of surprised that like I wasn't called out on it or anything, but yeah, that's that's what happens, and it got so bad at this point, I was like, you know what, I can't do this, I have to. My dad decided to homeschool me, and uh, I never went back since, because I feel like I would do equally as bad as I did in middle school, or I would actually do worse. Yeah, it was pretty, it was a pretty damn difficult time. As for, like, what grade I am in, if we're talking about now, well, I, okay, I've already, like, explained that I, like, I, like, got homeschooled at 6th grade, but if we're talking about, like, what grade I would be in now, I don't know, I guess I'd be 12 or I would be in the college senior, I, you know, it's, it's been a long time, and I really do not want to think about school at this point, it's, let's just, let's just move on. Time Lords 103. Oh, he's got a whole lot of questions. When you saw Speed Racer, what were your thoughts on it? And what did you think of the Mach 5? You know, it's been a long time since I saw that movie. I was like, I was like a kid, and I don't really remember anything about it. The only thing I remember about it is that in the movie theater, they played the wrong fucking movie. Uh, we were just like watching there, and then like, we saw this like title. It was like, it was like a movie called Red Belt. I, I don't know. 
But we thought it was like a it was like an elongated trailer, but then we realized, oh no, wait, this is this is a this is a movie, and we realized, did they just play us the wrong movie? Did we get did we get like the tickets to the wrong theater? And then I guess we kind of like missed half of the movie because we were like put into the theater that was playing it. And <laughs> let's just I don't know if you could call that a traumatic experience, but it was definitely an experience where now Every single time I go into a movie theater, I always feel like they're about to play the wrong one. Like, always. I can never get that out of my head. Thanks to these, like, goddamn movie theaters. Not reading the labels. Yeah, I don't really remember much about Speed Racer, and I have... I have no idea what the Mach 5 is. And... Before you ask, I didn't see the anime either. Oh shit, unless you were talking about the anime crap. <laughs> Have you ever played Kingdom Hearts? Nope. Never played Kingdom Hearts. I was all Spider-Man back then, so I didn't have time of any other games. Maybe except for Ratatouille. You know, that game on the PlayStation. Are you willing to help write for any of my battles? I would just have to go with probably not. Like, you know, as much as I want to help, sometimes I just can't. So, sorry. How long does it usually take to make a rap battle review? Well, the time it takes to uh, do the voice lines, do the uh, video recordings, and doing the editing uh, for... Oh, and also writing. I forgot about writing. For writing, it takes about an hour. It depends on how long the video is. It takes another hour to, uh, to do the uh, voice recordings. It takes like either 20 or even 30 minutes to do the videos. And having to re-record because my camera is stupid and it likes to stop recording every now and then. And editing would take about... Once again, it depends on how long the video is. And the time of rendering... that That's a whole other thing. Sometimes it can range from like 2 hours to sometimes 4 hours. And sometimes it would just stop the rendering for some reason. And you have to wait an extra hour to get the program to work again, it's... I'd say it takes about an entire day. And I'm not saying that, like, I do all of this stuff, like, on the same day, but, like, combined, it takes about, like, like, 24 hours, and it's... it's... absolutely ridiculous. What is the worst rap battle made by ERB, and why? I really don't have a personal worst ERB battle. I do have a least favorite, but there really just isn't a lot that I can say I really hate it. I mean, I know some people have their, like, fair share of awful ERB battles that they fought kind of sucked, but for me, it's just they're either underwhelming or just, or they just came off too short. That's really all I got. Do you want to mess with the bears? What? What are your thoughts on furries? Oh. I would like to not be around a furry. Like, ever. I mean, I know some of them are fine, but... A lot of them, they're... They're fucking weirdos, and... And, you know, I read about the whole Kiro the Wolf thing, and yeah, that just... That does not make me feel any better. I personally wouldn't want to be around one. Even if they're, like, not, you know, rapists. There's actually a fourth epic rap battles of time. <gasps> you don't say! Well, biggie fool. Looks like I'm coming for you next. Also, Nate's hair was only blonde and... Okay, okay. Alright, so we can clarify that, you know, Nate's hair was only blonde in... I don't know, Big Nate versus Greg Heffley by Raps Through Time, alright. And, you know, the rest was, like, brown-haired. Alright, at least we could clarify that. It's still the wrong fucking hair! James Lefebvre. He says... I want to die right now. Same. Dre Kalkins asked, Do you have any plans for a rap battle or just a review time? Okay, the rap battles thing, I just... It's... 
I don't even know what to say. Like, I don't even know what's going on. I don't even know what's going on with review time. Like, I'm just having... I'm just having some days where I'm just like, fuck, I really don't want to do this, but I have to. Because I don't want to leave you guys out in the dark all the time, and I already took too many breaks, so I really don't want to, like, take another long-ass one and, you know, give you a shitty Call of Duty clips and su such. J. Kim asks, Who do you think is the most overused character or characters in rap battles? You know, I really do not care what character gets, like, you know, overused or underused in rap battles and such. I'm not, like, Brandon that was, like, constantly... Okay, that... Oh. Let me just make that clear. That's not a shot at Brandon, but there is something about it that does bother me. That's... Whenever it involves a creepypasta character, or a Sonic character, or a Sans Undertale character, or Freddy character, he always has to point out that they're overused and overrated. He's done that like so many times with creepypastas and I was like, okay, I get it. You don't like creepypastas. You just don't want to hear that all the time. But yeah, I really don't have an overused one. But if I have to talk about the one that I review too much, I may have reviewed a bit too much Batman. Which character do you really want to see in a rap battle that hasn't appeared in one at all? How many times do I have to shove this down people's throats? If you were to have a fictional character as your roommate, who would it be? Quiet. Definitely quiet. No questions. Have you seen Scott Pilgrim vs. The World or read any of the comics? If so, what are your thoughts on them and who's your favorite character? I don't know about Scott Pilgrim. Sorry. What kind of rap battle do you like the best besides a standard battle? I don't really care what kind of battles people do. Uh, I guess the ones that I like the most is like the longer ones, you know, the ones that... The ones where like both verses have eight battles instead of having the second verses be like cut into four instead. I just, I just... I guess I like those better. But I really don't care about, like, which ones they do. Are you aware of many written fan-made rap battles on the ERB wiki? Uh, I wasn't really aware of that. I might have to check that out. M. Brewer, he asks, Do you like creepypastas? Occasionally, I do. You know, there, there's, like, some that are good and some that are bad. I... I guess really the best one, like, my favorite one is obviously the Slendermans because... He's just, like, the most unique out of all of them, and he's pretty much, like, the, like... He's pretty much, like, the mascot of Creepypastas, and I just like him better. Yeah, of course, there are some Creepypastas that are, uh, not good, but I wouldn't say I hate them. I do think it's kind of, like, saddening to see that they're kind of, like, losing their touch, and... I don't know, I just hope at some point they can bounce back and be as popular as they were back then. Neo E asked, Do you have a Discord server? I do not have a Discord server. Mainly because I would probably not run it very well. Although I really want to have one. Zero Five Star Z Guy 669 asks, Will you do a review of my joke battles? Well, if it's a joke battle, what's the point? Maybe for April Fool's, but it's not a guarantee, okay? Carter JP asked, What do you think is the best rap battle that you reviewed? That's kind of hard. I mean, I don't review a whole lot of, like, really awesome rap battles because, you know, most people like to focus more on the bad ones, but... I guess my favorite have to be St. Valentine vs. St. Nick. I thought that was like a really exceptional rap battle and I... I like the style of editing that it had and I thought the lyrics were pretty top notch even if... Mateo didn't like chisel all of them. Who in the community pisses you off the most? Oh boy... Uh... You know what? I can't answer that, I'm sorry. I don't like getting into more drama again. Will you ever review one of my joke battles? Didn't I already answer this question? Uh, Alright, whatever. Uh, will I review one of your joke battles? Like I said, maybe for April Fool's, but... Again... 
I can't say it's a guarantee. Chase Gin asked, Which out of all these OCs is your favorite? Uh, that one. That one's my favorite. Aaron the Maniac asks, Do you watch a series of unfortunate events? I've heard of it. Never watched it. How much can a woodchuck chuck if a woodchuck could chuck Norris? That's a really stupid question. Do you like the new epic rap battle creepypasta, One Man Hide and Seek vs. Free Kings? Did they make another one? I wasn't aware of that, I'd probably have to check that one out. What characters would you like to see in the new Super Smash Bros. game? Wah! Put me in the motherfucking game, right ya? Wah! Do you know the game Cuphead? I know it. I've heard of it. Never played it. And I really don't want to, because I've broken enough controllers in my entire life. I really don't wanna... I don't wanna... I really don't wanna break this one. Again. Just... I can only afford so much. Do you know Over the Garden Wall? If so, who's your favorite character? Okay. Uh, alright, alright. Okay, let's, what, let's just make this thing straight here. I live under a rock, alright? I lived under a rock in my entire life. I have never heard of these, like, shows, books, movies, whatever. I was... I've been a very picky person my entire life. I only like things that interest me the most, so... This, this kind of stuff... <laughs> I know, I know you really are sick and tired of me saying Hervey never watched it, but that's just how it is. I don't know a lot of this stuff, and I... Sorry if I was a little aggressive, but... Ugh, I just had to get that... I just had to get that straight. Carter JP asks, Do you have a girlfriend? No. No, I don't. And... That's all the questions. And thank you all for watching. Uh, sorry if I left maybe one or two out, but, you know, those were pretty much asking questions that I have already answered. Uh, thank you guys for leaving your questions down in the comments below, and let's be leaving more for next time. I'm not sure how long this style I am doing for the video will last. I just, uh, you know, I just... I just need to save space, and these really don't help when I'm making them almost a half hour long. So, I hope you all understand that. Remember, put hashtag AskDieHards in the beginning of your comments, and because I asked a lot of your guys' questions, let me ask you guys a question. What is your favorite video game franchise? And that's all I have for today, so thank you guys for watching, and keep on asking. <laughs>